Cuba is set to hold a popular referendum on its new family code. If passed, the code will change the concept of what constitutes a family and expand women's rights and LGBTQ plus rights. On September 18th, Cuban citizens living abroad voted on this family code, and on September 25th, citizens in Cuba will vote to decide whether to approve or reject the new progressive family code. The referendum is an unprecedented democratic exercise in Cuba. It is for the first time in the country's history that a referendum on the code is being held. Until now, only constitutional referendums have been held in the country. It is also a pioneering event on the global level as Cuba has become the first country in the world to have submitted a family code to popular consultation and referendum. The new family code is considered to be the most inclusive and progressive code in the world. The new code guarantees the right of all people to form a family without discrimination. It legalizes same-sex marriages and allows such couples to adopt children. It allows for parental rights to be shared among extended and non-traditional family structures that could include grandparents, step-parents and surrogate mothers. It also adds provisions for prenuptial agreements and assisted reproduction. It boosts women's rights by recognizing women's work in the household. It promotes equal sharing of domestic responsibilities and extends labor rights to those who care full-time for children, the elderly or people with disabilities. It establishes the right to a family life free from violence that values love, affection, solidarity and responsibility. It codifies domestic violence penalties and outlaws corporal punishment. It states that parents will have responsibility instead of custody of children and be required to be respectful of the dignity and physical and mental integrity of children and adolescents. It also asserts that parents should grant maturing offspring more say over their lives. Cuba's current family code was written in 1976. It was one of the only aspects not addressed by the 2019 constitutional reform. In 2018 during the discussions and meetings on constitutional changes, it was found that there was significant support for the recognition of marriage outside of the heteronormative conception. After the new constitution was approved in February 2019, the members of the drafting commission began working on a new family code. By September 2021, 22 versions of the new code had been presented. In December 2021, the National Assembly approved the draft. This was then submitted to popular consultation in February 2022. Nearly 6 and a half million people participated in this popular consultation from February to April 2022. This constitutes 76% of the total population. Over 330,000 interventions were made by the Cuban people in more than 79,000 meetings throughout the country. leading to changes to nearly half of the content of the draft this draft with suggestions from citizens underwent a new evaluation by the national assembly and was unanimously approved in june now it is awaiting its ratification in the popular referendum as established in the constitution all citizens over 16 years of age are eligible to vote in the referendum the new code must receive more than 50% of the valid votes in order to be applied as a law According to the data issued by CEN, 61% of those who were consulted on the referendum said they are in favor of the new code.